Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. I'm here with Sandra. <laughs> um, and she is going to go show me her masterful swiping ways. She has this amazing piece. If you haven't seen it on her channel, I'm going to post the link in the description. It is amazing. And we're going to basically try to kind of duplicate this again. And this is a 24 by 36 mm -hmm. canvas, which she just primed with some black acrylic paint. But you can, of course, start with a black canvas if you want. So here we go. So we are going to mix. I'm a little low in my bottles on two colors. So we're going to mix. These are both Deco Art. It can be any brand you want. Um, we're just going to mix about two or three ounces. My typical ratio is one to one. One part colorful to one part paint. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then, like, the other is just craft paint. And, yeah, I, my go-to is sour apple, and I'm at the end of the bottle. And one that's very close in the same color range is Irish Moss. So I'm going to put a little of that in here. Since this is two paint, it's going to be a little stronger. Okay, so there's a little difference in those colors, but it does not matter. And these are probably about an ounce or so of paint. So I'm basically just going to double up. And I might put a little more Floetrol on this one since it's a two paint. So we're going to mix these up. And with the craft bottle paint, which is the one I'm mixing here, you do not add water after you add your Floetrol. It is already... A thin the thing. first, the perfect consistency. Yeah, it just flows off your stick. What like I call warm honey, and there's just a little slight. Uh, you see a little bit on the top edge, but it really kind of sinks in pretty quickly. So this is perfect. Now she's mixing the two paint, but it really it's it's a little thicker. But I'm not even sure that we need to add water to that. Yeah, one. maybe. We'll see. Hasn't fully been mixed yet. Well, it seems about the same actually. I tell you what, we're gonna we're gonna keep it the way it is okay. because I actually like my uh, bottle paints. Like I have a whole line of these bottles over here that you can see on the left edge. They have been in the bottle up to a year, and what happens is when it runs low, I continually add paint to it. So I never empty the bottles out. I never clean them out. I continually add to it. Me too. And they store forever. And then, yeah, we're going to add our silicone. And we've got maybe, these are five ounce cups. I'll do, whoops, that was a, little, <laughs> that was a pour. Three to four drops. Three to four drops, okay. I do, an, I do a drop per ounce when it comes to silicone. And then we just transfer it to our bottles and... These are the icing bottles that are on my Amazon link that I absolutely love. They're, you know, cheap. They're not cheaper. They're more expensive than the condiment bottles. But, but they're a bit thicker. They're right? thicker plastic, yeah. so they're more heavy duty. I like that. And they have a screw-on lid that keeps it airtight, which is perfect. There's your lid. And then I'm just going to mix this. You're going to be able to shake it up really there. good. So see they have these screw-on lids, and you have a really small opening, and that is what I love about my con controlled swipes is the small opening. So that you don't have a ton of paint. And then the next thing we're going to do is I have um, Coffee Artist Loft. <laughs> the Artist Loft. Yeah, the flow typical flow acrylic bottles that are a quartz from uh, Michael's. I... I keep a lot of the colors, but especially the white and black. And they are thick. They're not like ready to pour flow acrylics. So they're mixed one to one. And I do add water to this, and it's in a coffee mate jug just for easy access. So we're just going to put, don't go overboard on your base. And I've got an icing fondant spreader. So just a really thin, thin coat here. Yes. So you don't want your typical flood coat like you do on a pour. 
you really are not going to lose much extra paint and something like this because it's a very controlled swipe. The only paint that you're going to really have excess of will be what wipes off of your tools. This was one I did probably a couple of years ago. And um, so I'm going to try to teach her how I get this kind of winged, multi-rainbowed color effect. And you have to think of it kind of in the artist approach as in layers. If you want these leaves to, or feathers to come this way and then you want the next layer to be over them and you want the next layer to be over, then you start here and then you do the second layer and then you do whatever so that they are kind of moving towards you uh, in, a, in a lapped kind of fashion. Or you could do the opposite. You could start here and then each layer would go over. And I'll put I'll put a list below the video of all the colors that are in the bottles. And um, I'm gonna we're gonna swipe with white. White will be our swiping color. And it's the only one that does not have a little silicone or OGX. We're gonna do smaller swipes down here and we're gonna work on some larger ones up here. I'm going to give you a credit card, Ooh, or a good RX card, you know, <laughs> Office Max, and then we have paint scrapers, and then the, the bigger tool that we'll use for just some of the area is a plastic pool trowel, which is in my Amazon link, and this is really fun for the really larger swipes. That's why I chose this large canvas for us to play on. So basically, I'm going to do a side and then let her do her side. Yeah. So we're just going to switch back and forth with colors. And I'm just looking at my original design and trying to figure out what the heck I want to do. So starting at the middle, this might be difficult working upwards. We'll see. So you're going to, you're just going to take your, I'm just drawing out a, a little line and you're going to kind of work from the center out and go that way. So do I and you can leave from right here or Yeah, over? you can leave a little gap, a couple okay. inches. That's okay. <laughs> and so you kind of you kind of overlap it just slightly, but you don't have to okay. go like over the top of it because we want kind of a a gradient a gradated gradiated graduated <laughs> gradient all kinds of words a gradient effect. I'm not going to use this color. And so the key with this is to not go heavy. You're, you're squeezing out just a pretty much a thin line of paint. And I'm kind of going in a rainbow, like the way you would see the colors of the rainbow. You don't have to have a steady hand. I have a very shaky hand. You're doing good. Just go a little lighter. Okay. <laughs> see how hers is just a bit thicker? Too thick. Okay. It just it just means you need to squeeze the bottle a little less than you start, you know. Just don't squeeze it so hard and and you kinda as you move, if you move faster, it will also make a thinner line as okay. well. So the key with this is not to have a bunch of paint on your canvas. It's just enough to uh, swipe the different colors. And I'm just praying that this will work. Because, like I said, the paints have been sitting in these bottles for quite a while. And I always have a, a kind of like a little pile of wet, just damp paper towels to wipe off our tools as we go. Because you want a clean tool every time you do a swipe. Okay, so this, this row will be, they're going to be the smaller things so we're gonna put we're gonna put a line above the purple which was our first color and you don't want your black mixture to be real watery like sometimes people make their uh, their base coat more watery than their colors uh, before they do an acrylic pour of some sort you don't want this super watery because if you do what happens when you put your colors down they bleed out and they start 
mixing in because the base is too wet and too watered down. So don't water your base coat down more than you have to. You can do this on white, you can do it on any color. And I, you, know, you just don't put any silicone in your black either. Okay, so we want kind of a bigger leaf here. You've got a tool and I've got a tool. Okay. And have a have your wet paper towel ready. Oh. And so we're gonna we're gonna our tool is gonna just get that surface of the white. So just watch me totally before you do it. Mm -hmm. I just had everybody just kind of watch. <laughs> so I'm gonna grab that white and I'm keeping my tool level okay. with the canvas, and I'm not pressing into it. I'm just literally laying it on the surface just enough to barely touch it and glide that way okay and see if you if you light up then you have little blank spots and that's okay but that's and then you take your tool and you wipe it totally off because you want a clean tool for the next slide and like there's a little area we have a credit card very gently it's a very gentle very gentle touch <laughs> I always try to make that really clear when I'm trying to pe teach people how to swipe is it's a really gentle touch. And I actually can tell that I didn't put enough paint on because it's it's pretty thin and light here. So anyway, so you're going to just start about in this area here and you're just going to kind of kind of go to the right but come downwards and just kind of move off the canvas. Okay, no pressure. <laughs> You can go a little bit harder. Yeah, that's good. That's perfect. Yeah. So, yeah, you see, if you see if you lift up a bit, there's a Too little much. gap, and that's okay. That's totally okay. <laughs> Should so, I do it again, or we're good? You're good. Okay. And if, if you want to go back over that area, that's you can funny. totally put the colors down and do it again right in that area. So. I'm lifting up too fast. <laughs> Yeah, there is, there's kind of a key moment where you want to get that swipe kind mm -hmm. of covered and then gently, you're not taking it totally up at one time. It's just a very gradual lift. Mm -hmm. um, so the next one we'll do again right beside it. Okay. So we're about, we're about midway through this, the lines of color. And again... And the reason there is a gap is because I did put down too little paint. Like you put a little more and so see how yours is a little brighter and more vivid. Mm -hmm. And the other key thing is I get my knuckles sometimes in the paint. So <laughs> be really careful about holding the tool with your fingertips and not having your fingers under your tool because you will scrape the canvas with your knuckles. Yeah. Okay. That's good. That's definitely better. <laughs> <laughs> okay and so this we're going to take and use our card okay and really you have a little bit more control with your card but it's also just for small spaces so you can use the wide angle of it or the smaller one so you see those mm -hmm. I probably used the wider part and I probably did two swipes at least one that was kind of wide it's a very see I, I messed part of my paint there good you did now you did a lot, a lot better job than I did I didn't put enough paint down. And then just do a couple of more with your small part of your card and kind of lift off so it has a, a winged effect. So see, Marcy's looks better than mine. You did a great job. <laughs> you and I that. literally just didn't put enough paint down. So I'm, we're gonna leave hers because hers looks great. And I'm gonna really quick show you that just because you don't like what you did doesn't mean you can't just go right through it. So I'm doing a really fast, I'm not putting any more paint than I did before and I still, I really don't want any more because I've already got that one layer of paint down. So there was a girl on my channel, S. Sue. I don't know if she even still watches my videos. She's on my channel too, yes. But exactly. she specifically asked me to try this technique <laughs> like two and a half years ago. <laughs> so I feel like I'm finally fulfilling that request. Yeah, well, she'll see it, she'll see it on both of our channels then. <laughs> She's been a faithful watcher of mine for yeah. a few years. I know exactly who you're talking about. <laughs> 
Because you have those faithful people that yep. are just there time after time. But see, I can go back over it and still get the same results, even with those colors underneath. Oh, I'm using my big one and didn't use the small one. But see how I'm wiping my tools off? Because if you don't wipe your tool off, you're going to put all those colors back over your white. And um, you get the little money. Yeah. So that looks a little better. But actually, I'm going to give Marcy an A plus on her first <laughs> row. Everybody Yay. give her a hand. I pass. Yay. <laughs> She's a good student. So our next row is going to go up. To about the corner, we're going to aim, we're going to start really in about the same place, and we're going to aim to about the corner, or, you know, an inch or so below that corner edge there. Okay. So, same process. And you can also, you know, something like this, you can switch up your colors, and if you want just greenish, bluish leaves, we're just going to do the rainbow colored effect for all of this. But you can totally switch and... Um, just have a layer of blue-green leaves and then go back to the rainbow-colored leaves or feathers or whatever you want to call it. Okay, we're going to move to the big guns now. No pressure. So I'm looking at my pattern from the last time. Mm -hmm. And so we can, if you want to, you can overlap a little bit. Like, yeah. like this yours is a little bit higher, but that's some of the prettiest parts of your thing. So you may Maybe want to lift here, up. but not there or yeah, something. You, or you may want to lift up right before you get to the top edge of that. And if you go over it a little bit, it's okay. It just kind of gives it a more three-dimensional layered look. I'm going to do a swipe about right here. And I'm, we're doing the same technique. We're going to grab the edge, except for you're going to be coming this way. And so you're going to be grabbing from the left. I'm grabbing from the right. Okay. Because we're both right-handed. We're grabbing that white and gently gliding our tool. And then you just slightly lift up. So see, I've got a lot of space here because I'm my... so nervous about this one. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually, on a large canvas, this is the most enjoyable tool to play with. It is so much fun. I have done abstract paintings with this tool on dry canvases with colors, and it's a blast to play with. Okay. Just go over here. So <laughs> probably about right here. So yeah, just... Just hit that white. Make sure you hit that white kind of in the middle of your tool. Okay. And you'll feel it kind of catch the surface. Yeah. And then you're going to the right and then slightly coming down. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so, if you don't like it, you can go real quick over it with the layers and do another swipe. Do you want to try it again? And you never just go again. No, if you go again, it's gonna it's gonna take it down more to the canvas because the the colors are yeah. spread out thinner. So the best thing to do is just relayer it and go over it if you want to go over it again. Let's try the other layer, the other one, mm -hmm. and then see how it looks. Okay. So um, I'm gonna do the top one. want to do that center section one more time well I gotta do something I think you should because okay. this one is so lovely and you've got such a gap if, if you do another layer and you can possibly bring it down yeah. a little lower and still have you can still have a gap like I okay so gap. I want a rainbow just right here I right. want to put those colors right. again yeah so okay. start 
just like right below that white edge and just start with your colors again and, and do, you know, about eight inches or so. So now, let's, I'm going to start up here, okay, there we go, so we'll just come down to the center, okay, so, you know, about, about right there, drag your card through a little bit. Yeah, I like that. Um, Some nice big tropical plant. So now, like even here, because you have more space and it doesn't have to be totally equal, mm -hmm. you know, as far as on both sides. Yeah. You know, like this is kind of blah looking for me. I might could add a little something here and you might could add a little something there and we can put a little something in the middle and then make it feel like it's done. You know, you want to try that? that? Yeah. So maybe I'll just add a little, a little something right here that's interesting. So what do you, do you think if I added something maybe that went like from here to here? Kind of thing? Or, or, or like out of here? Yeah, like coming okay. from there. I like that. So like nature where it's not really totally planned. So I might come out from here and go up. Okay. This is my boring area here. So I'll just, uh, it won't be anything major. And then you decide where you want to put yours. I almost see if you wanted to add something just like right there, coming down a little bit, I think that would be pretty in that area. Just like one little, one little blip, or a little two. Like little, coming from here? No, no, because that's really pretty. Okay. Like, like it's growing like, like it's growing right, underneath it right kind from of. here. Like you just have a little, just a little. Okay, four five I can inch try area. it. <laughs> Let's see, So yeah, like we maybe add, from here to there. Yeah. As an artist. This is where you look at the painting and you decide what's pleasing to the eye for you. Right. Which composition. Everyone's going to be different. Yeah. Oh, it feels good compositionally so that you know when, when you're done, you're done. And okay, I can already tell your taste is a little bit different than mine. Is it? But not in a bad way, <laughs> of course. Just a little different. Scraping my side. I was yeah, I was scraping <laughs> with the card and then it took it down to the black, so it'll level out. Oh, it's all good. And I'll be thinking about what I want to do up here. Okay. So like what what is your favorite colors? Um, I definitely lend, tend to go towards the blues, blues and purples. Okay. Um but I mean I really do like all of them. So I just am randomly putting these colors, and then I'm going to let Marcy, let me pull out my, my favorite, let's see if she can use this tool. Uh-oh. It's my favorite little palette. No knife. pressure. And I definitely have more paint on the table over here than you, just 
as an FYI. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll use a better knife. How about a better knife? That'll be a challenge. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I started swiping with a butter knife because it has soft, rounded edges instead of like a palette knife that has hard, yeah. st straight edges. So, like, I might just take the butter knife and do a little... I'm barely touching and totally lifting off. Oh and goodness. so, That's not repetitively, question. like if you want to go that way or that way, and then, of course, you just wipe... Mm -hmm. um, Okay, well, let me add a little bit more white because it's kind of disappearing in I there. can do some down here, but I kind of recommend you do it up there because I feel a little too short. Okay. To easily reach. So get your get it really more parallel to the canvas so you get a little coverage. You know, with yeah. It. Well, I'm trying to avoid getting on this too much. Unless it's my finger. Okay. That's not at all what you want to do. <laughs> Well, it's elongated. It's, it's not thick, but there you go. Then there. you're thinking kind of more yeah, like, that. like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I can do that. Maybe. Do you want to draw some lines in with the gold or white or something like that? Do I? With the little fine liner. Sweet. And like. They can be, they can come across here. This is where it kind of makes it feel abstract. Can I do one that comes like that? Yeah. So the key with you know these fine liners is if you you have to squeeze harder because it's metallic and it's thick. Yeah. Start it on like a paper towel to make sure it comes out first of all, so it's not dried up or clogged or okay. Mm -hmm. And so the slower you go, the more jiggly and wiggly it's going to be because yeah. of your pressure of squeezing. And if you're squeezing hard and you go a little bit quicker, it's going to be a, actually a more straight line. It's not going to have as much wiggle to it. Okay. Yep. Here, let me just do one. Yes, please. Kind of show you. Um, <laughs> so if you kind of squeeze hard and kind of fast, I can kind of wiggle it or whatever. But I, if I tried to do that slow, it would have been real jacked. Yeah. yeah. So if that makes sense. Yeah. It did. And I kind of started it, so I'll just blend it in right there. But Tara, I did it! You did it! Whew. That was so much pressure. So put the gold wherever you want to put it. Yikes. Done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm short. Okay. I'm going to throw in a little. It's you. I'm going to throw in a little white. Okay. Just a, Ooh. I like that. Just a little. Oomph. I think it's beautiful. Mm-hmm.